Koreans are, are like they're really into education. So wait, and you're how old are we talking here? So like when I was like in middle school, like to high school. I did the same routine over and over. So if you all, if 70% of American 25 to 34 year olds had college degrees, trust me, you all would be going to Hogwans also because you'd be competing. So are there like extra do you guys, do you guys play like sports or like you just literally just do school Who Monday to Friday? sports, dude? I, I, don't, I mean, I feel like. I would go insane if I was just doing school for like 15 hours a day. Like, would you not? <laughs> yeah, look at them. Do they? I, do they no, look normal? Sam, I don't know because you, you don't need like. <laughs> First off, school's intense in and of itself, right? Because like, I want to be clear. My school was not very intense. I went to a working class school. Um, it's where I learned how to. I don't know. What I know, the highest scores are always from Korea. Do is. IB a big a big thing in Korea or is it just like a small p part of the population that do it? Recently there's a lot there are a lot of stores without a cashier. So you just have yeah. a machine and people would have to go grab like whatever they want from like the shelves and then just check out themselves. Would just check out themselves and leave. Does he back? have to do that also? Well if you're drinking with yeah, Sam You're younger than me, bro, so you have to turn away. <laughs> turn away from the white guy, bro. All right. <laughs> So what'd you get out of today, man? What'd you, what'd you get? My kids need to stay in school a little longer because they want us, they want America's neck with the academics. So that's what I got from this. <laughs> yeah, man. 이곳은 미국에 위치한 펜실베이니아 주립대입니다. So I'm, we're going to talk about Korea today. And uh, just talk about a few different things that I think will be interesting at the end of class. We're going to do a role play of sorts. 오늘 쌤 교수님의 강의에선 거의 한 시간이 넘는 시간 동안 외국인 학생들에게 한국에 대해 알려주고 또 한국의 문화를 체험해 보는 시간을 갖는다고 합니다. 그 전에 한국에 대해 왜 알아야 하는지 설명하기 시작했습니다. Korea is a socio-economic geopolitical miracle. What, what Korea has done, you know, in my lifetime. We'll say in the past 55 years or so has been something that we've really never seen in human history to reach a level of modernization, growth and development that we just have never seen. It all comes from something. And if you look at those numbers there, South Korea in 1965, the GDP is 3.1 billion and now it's 1.8 trillion. You know, Korea in 1965, the economy was the country of Ghana, the country of Algeria. Dude, Tunisia was wealthier than Korea. And now Korea is the 10th largest economy in the world. And so you don't have to think about a lot, really, right? But that thing at all, that alone would lead me as a sociologist to say, damn, what happened? Like, what happened? What did they do? And which is, of course, what it has maintained my interest in Korea. I first started, uh, I was first interested or introduced to Korea back in the mid 80s with, through uh, some of the early to mid 80s when I had some graduate student friends from Seoul. And I started to really kind of dig into Korean uh, geopolitics and economics and, and familiarize myself with the culture and a lot of things. And so, I, you know, I became just fascinated by Korea. And I have watched it, you know, over the course of the past 40 years, just expand. And by the way, how, can I just see a raise of hands? Like, how many of you are aware of Korea's cultural positioning in the world? Like the Korean wave, you know, like food and music and K-dramas and K-film and so on and so forth. K-fashion and K-beauty and everything K, K-gaming and K-animation. Like, how many of you are really aware of Korea's position in the world? I'm just, uh, raise your hands high. I just want to really see you. And out of curiosity, how many of you have heard of BTS? Huh. And how many of you have heard of Blackpink? Huh, okay. Yeah, that's interesting. 거의 대부분의 학생들이 연이어 손을 들며 한국이라는 나라에 대해 알고 있다 답했습니다. All right, so listen. I want to talk about a couple of things that are going to frame the conversation we have today. Go to, go to the next slide. 그리고 한국에 대한 이야기를 이어가는데요. 이번엔 교육에 대한 것이었습니다. Korea is one of the most educated countries in the world. So look at Korea. About 70% of Koreans aged 25 to 34 have, have four-year college degrees. No, just hold that. 70%. 
And the U.S. is 40 percent, agrees, but 40 percent versus 70 percent. And then look at Germany, Saudi Arabia. I put Saudi Arabia because there are so many Saudis in here. And China, Nigeria, you know, look at this. So what do you do? How do you get there? Like what's going on in Korea with education? And what's it mean? So you take Korea as being the really most highly educated country in the world. We can expect that Korea is going to have one of the lowest fertility rates in the world. And so what does that mean? I want to talk a little bit about what this means. So, hey, can you... 그럼 이쯤에서 학생들을 불러 직접 이야기를 나눠봐야겠죠? Hey, so can you introduce yourselves? Okay, so, um, hi, I'm Chaewon. I'm, I go by Che, and I'm from South Korea, and I'm a freshman at... But wait, but you grew up in... Cambodia. And mostly in Cambodia. Yeah. Hi, my name is Leah. My Korean name is Hyunseo. And I'm currently a junior in Penn State, majoring in accounting. I mostly grew up in Korea. Hi, my name is Do Hyung Kim. You can just call me Do. Do? Uh-huh. Right. And then I'm senior, majoring in statistics. Hello, everyone. My name is Jun Ho Kwan, and I'm from South Korea. My major is economics, and currently I'm a junior as well. All right. <laughs> go, to the, go to the next. Can you, can you guys can you talk about this a little bit? Hell, Joseon. Yeah. I mean, it's like a term because, like, you've all seen it, like, how expensive it is to afford an apartment in Seoul, the capital. And it's really, like, it's where most people would want to live in, have a job, have their housing. But because it's so competitive to get a job or even, like, a good life there, we kind of... Call it hell, hell, 조선. <웃음> 대체 어느 정도로 경쟁하기에 지옥이라는 말이 붙는 것인지 샘 교수님도 앞에 앉아 있는 미국인 학생들도 궁금해했습니다. Yeah, so to add on, there are like districts of Hagwons. Some of them there are Hagwons populated within the district, so the street would be full of buildings, and within the building there would be full of Hagwons, like from math, science, English, foreign languages. There will be Hagwon for literally anything, any subject you can think of. Koreans are, are like, they're really into education, so going to more than three hagwons per day or like maybe five, it's really normal for Koreans. Wait, and you're, how old are we talking here? So like, when I was like in middle school, like to high school, I did the same routine over and over, so. They weren't competing with 70% of the population their age who also had college degrees. So the college degree is just the norm, right? 83%, y'all, this is 83% of the Korean population. And, and here's what would happen. I just want to be clear about something. If you all, if 70% if of American 25 to 34-year-olds had college degrees, trust me, you all would be going to Hagwans also because you'd be competing. As it is, when you graduate from Penn State, you have the idea, of, okay, you're going to find a job. But if you were competing with twice as many people with college degrees here or back home, wherever you're from, if you're not from the United States, you'd be tutoring. You'd be like trying to elevate your, you know, get your game together, man. Okay, so wait, so you, do your parents drop you off there? 외국인의 입장에선 늦은 저녁이나 새벽에 집 밖에 있을 수 있다는 것부터 믿기지 않는 일이었습니다. 특히 미성년자를 밖에 혼자 둔다는 것은 너무나 위험하게 느껴졌던 것이죠. Can you say something about crime in Korea? Because people are probably wondering, like, how do you, how are you up at that hour in the morning when you're like 14 years old or whatever? But how much crime is there? Korea is identified as really safe country. So like, a lot of people go out at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. and we don't feel like we're not nervous like we know it's safe so like we yeah um it there's not a lot of crime in south korea mm -hmm. there's no violent crime bro you have a question so are there like extra 한국 학생의 말이 끝나기도 전부터 한참 동안이나 손을 번쩍 들어 올리고 있었던 이 학생 무슨 질문인지 들어봐야겠죠 you guys, you guys play like sports or like you just literally just do school Who Monday to Friday? Who is for sports, dude? I, I, don't, I mean, I feel like I would go insane if I was just doing school for like 15 hours a day. Like, would you not? <laughs> yeah. 
look at them. Do they? I, do they? No, just no, no, I don't know because you, you don't need like I feel like you don't need 15 hours of school a day to like go out in the real world and make money. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. 한국인들은 대체 어떻게 그런 일정을 소화해내는지 정말로 궁금했던 모양이네요. 교수님도 자신의 학창 시절 이야기를 꺼내며 한마디 거듭니다. First off, school's intense in and of itself, right? Because like, I want to be clear, my school was not very intense. I went to a working class school. Um, it's where I learned how to, I don't know, make water pipes and bongs and things. Like I wasn't really serious. So like it was a very different world. And so, 관심이 없었다 말씀하셨지만 어쩐지 갑자기 학생들과 눈을 못 마주치시는데요. So school itself is really intense. What, but there must be there are layers of school, right? Like the best schools, the worst schools. Like I have the idea that the worst schools, like the lowest level schools, are probably like our upper level schools here, if I could say. So school is already intense. Now you go to these cram schools and you're just being drilled constantly, right? 교수님의 말씀이 끝나기 무섭게 이번에도 학생들의 질문이 이어졌습니다. 이번엔 두 학생이 동시에 손을 들어 올렸는데요. Do you have a question? Uh, so like talking about hagwons and like the continued like after school schooling and all that and hearing it going to 2 3 a.m. like I know that even in the US the high schools have like a massive problem with students excuse me students not getting enough sleep. Yeah. Is it like just across like even the whole population like the younger population in korea and like i guess is it even worse than here there's actually a, i can answer that if i could even at the work level there's actually a condition that korea is really working with that of people who are just perpetually sleep deprived and so people get into these cycles of sleep deprivation and it's really a problem for large segments of the Korean population and it starts at a very young age and it goes on it's people who are you know like my age because you're not just studying now you're also working that hard bro I personally studied in an international baccalaureate uh, program and for what I know the highest scores are always from Korea do is IB a big a big thing in Korea or is it just like a small part of the population that do it 또 어디선가 한국 학생들이 상위권을 차지한 모양이네요. 한국인이 있는 곳엔 항상 한국인들이 상위권을 차지하게 되니 이상했던 것이었습니다. Since like um, Ivy schools in Korea, they have only like small population of students. It's very competitive to get there. 이후에도 몇 번이고 한국에 대한 질문이 끊이지 않았습니다. 이 친구는 다른 친구의 질문 중에도 또 마이크를 탐냈네요. So school, so education and teachers. I want to put this. When I was in Korea, Junho and I went to this Incheon International High School and I gave a talk there and you can see me somewhere in the middle I think I'm in there oh yeah you can see me there there I am hang on right there the dude and so <laughs> so so teachers are really revered in Korea right not like here like those of you who are going into education maybe you want to be teachers it's like you're not going into it because teachers have such high status and so on. But in Korea, they do, right? Can you? And I, I want to show this photo because it's an, you know, an indication of. Okay, so for in South Korea, if you're really educated, you're classified as like um, upper level. And yeah, um, students really, really liked you. And like um, you realized that um, a lot of students were actually, they were really good at English and then they, they asked a lot of questions to you, so. Dude, I, these students asked questions of me that I couldn't answer. There were 15 and there were 15 year olds asking me questions to which I didn't have an answer. There was one question about, on, uh, about US foreign policy as it relates to China. These are 15 year olds, right, 16 year olds. And, and, I, and I almost had to do a call in to my friend who's the national security advisor to the White House on China. And I'm like, hang on a sec, y'all. I'm going to have to call her to get an answer to this question because I can't answer that question. I mean, this is what I do for a living. And I'm like, y'all are like, you've just like blown me away with this, right? And so that's my experience. But the idea is that teachers are, 
are revered, right? Like it, they really elevated, have really high status. 최근엔 우리 한국도 교사의 교권으로 말이 많지만 아직까진 미국과 견줄 만큼은 아니었던 것 같네요. Go to the next slide. You know, you all, you know, in East Asian cultures, like you have very much a a community-oriented moral order. Like the sense of right and wrong is really built around what's right and wrong for the community. You know, here in the West, it's much more individualist oriented, more order, right? Like what's right and wrong for me? Like the, 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 most, the most important thing or the, the best way to have like an organized society is have each person put themselves out front. 이번엔 얼마 전 한국에 들렀던 교수님의 일화를 이야기합니다. This was my experience in Seoul, right? Lots of traffic in Seoul. I, I kept saying every time I was in a car, I would say to people, yo, I can't. How come nobody's honking their horns? And they say, oh my God, no, it's terrible. The traffic's terrible. People are, and I'm like, they're not. As much time as I spent in cars, which was probably about a total in my two weeks in Seoul last May, maybe I was in cars for like 10, 12 hours. I heard two horns, that's it. So that's an indication of this community-oriented moral order. Can you, do you have anything you would add? Wait, no, actually, there's one more thing, sorry. Go to the next slide. This is a meal, right for these, I'm with some friends here. We're all, these are the dishes for everybody, basically. We're just eating, it's a communal meal. Like, we're just eating together. You don't order your own separate dish, you order the, and other cultures do this as well, obviously. It's not just Korea, but, it's very community oriented. Like you're all participating in that. 한국인들이 공동체를 중요시하는 게 어떤 게 있는지 학생들에게 질문했습니다. 누가 말할지 고민하던 한국인 학생들. 그중 이 학생이 먼저 입을 뗐습니다. Okay, so um like for example, when we go to like cafe or restaurant, we don't steal stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 한국인으로서 당연한 걸 말하려니 조금 민망했던 모양인데요. 하지만 앉아 있던 학생들은 웃으면서도 고개를 끄덕였습니다. Even if it's on the table, like it's a law that you know we don't touch others. Like even though like how expensive it is, like we don't steal it. I'd like to add on it. Yeah. So like when I was back in Korea, I was studying at a cafe with my friend, and then I just left to like go to the bathroom. And then once I came back, just one guy came over to me and like whispered me like, my friend, she like touched my stuff. And I was like, oh, she's my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that your friend, he saw your friend touch your yeah. stuff, like your book bag. Like he thought she was stealing something. Yeah. Um, recently, there's a lot. There are a lot of stores without a cashier. So you just have yeah. a machine, and people would have to go grab like whatever they want from like the shelves, and then just check out themselves without anyone supervising in the store. And it, the stores would go on for 24 hours, and just have a single security camera. But people wouldn't steal. They would just check out themselves and leave. Like get what you want, pay for it, and leave. No one steals it. You just would never do. 학생들의 이야기가 끝나자 다른 주제로 넘어가는데요. Joseon Dynasty, like Korean philosophy, very much in the 500 years of the Joseon Dynasty, really adopted Confucianism, right? And kindness toward others, doing what's right, and loyalty towards superiors. And I want to just do something here, if we could. Can you go the go to the next slide? So. Um, Jun Ho and I, uh, we were sitting at this cafe and we had a beer and, and, and I said, and he was showing me how to drink together, like how we had to drink. And I said, dude, we have to do that in class, right? We have to, we have to reproduce this. 생각해보면 꽤 까다로운 규칙들이 많은 한국의 술자리, 강의 중 배워보는 시간을 갖기로 합니다. So this is soju, by the way. Soju, if you don't know, soju is the most popular spirit in the world by far. Of the top three spirits in the world, two, two of them are so, brands of soju. Okay, so here. 빠르게 테이블이 준비되고 한국 학생들과 함께 술자리 예절을 배워보기로 합니다. First off, if we're, wait, we only have, we'll see, so you're underage, so you can't drink anyway. All right, so listen. So we have soju on the table, right? And... Tell, tell us what has to happen. What's going on here? Okay, so I may not be all right, but uh, generally, um, it has to be adult, like pouring me soju first, because I can't drink it by myself. 
So you can't drink it by so to the oldest person. Yeah. So you have to. But I can't. But I I pour for you. Yeah, but uh, I have to like receive your um social. Like, like that. Wait. Can you? You can use the microphone. So you receive it like that. You have to use your both hands to receive. To receive. Uh huh. Okay. And then when younger ones pour drink to elders, they have to use both hands too. You don't and, have to use both hands. And do you have to keep the in the label? Can I see the? Oh yeah, that's. Um, Wait, can you say it in the mic? You say it in the mic. Um. 서로 창의도 해가며 제대로 된 예절을 보여주려는 두 학생. You have to cover the label. I didn't know that, but um. <laughs> <laughs> Right. He said, um, we have to cover the label, the logo. Okay, so you have thing. these, so you have two other people here. So you, you but you pour me first because I'm the elder, yes. right? Okay. But what about them? Who pours for them? Whoever. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Maybe by myself. <laughs> yeah, but you can't pour for yourself, really, right? You have to pour for other people? So like, it's okay, like, you know, Leah and, I, Leah and I are, like, friends, so it's okay to, like, um, give our, give soju like this, but if I'm giving it to, like, you or, like, um, someone older than adult, I have to be, like, very polite. Okay. And then you, for him? Yeah, so, like, it's okay to give it like this. All right. Okay, so now who... So this is what I was blown away by. All right, so I'm going to... If I'm gonna drink, mm -hmm. we're so gonna drink. You hold your glass, and since you're an adult, my glass has to be lower than yours. So I just like. And the same with. Okay. And you get to. Well, we like mostly go with. But like in most cases, like the boss or like the elder person, shouts out the slogan. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, hang on. Can we? Can you come up here? 함께 참여하고 싶어하는 학생이 있었던 모양이네요. 직접 체험해 보기로 합니다. 정말 신나 보이죠? So yeah, I'm, I'm Taylor Gang. I'm fed to God. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> From Pittsburgh. So I drink first. But remember the thing about you turning. You can't yeah. look at me. Yeah. So like, um, so suppose we did cheers. You can drink it whatever you want, but yeah. I have to turn my back and drink it like this. You have to cover... I cover the glass? No, no. no he I, does. Yeah, I have to turn does my back. Does he have to do that also? Well, if you're drinking with you're Sam... You, yeah. You're younger than me, bro, so you have to turn away. Yeah. Turn away from the white guy, bro. All right? <laughs> you can't look at the white guy. We're, we're back. This is Jim Crow now. We're back there. <laughs> it's Korea Crow, actually. All right, so wait. All three of you turn away from me. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. All right. 입맛을 다시는데요. All right. It's just water, dude. Oh, it's water. Yeah, all right. Okay, so now. All right. So wait, let's say he wants to, can he pour? He could pour next? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, it depends on the circumstance, but if you want to be, like, respectful and polite, yeah. like, um, he can pour it to you, and you can pour it to him. Okay. Yo, would I go first? Yeah, so wait, hold on. I'm their, I'm their elder, though, so how would they pour it for me? Well, yeah, so he, how old are you? 29. So he's 29. Mm -hmm. So so therefore, he's you. Do you have to. Yeah, so you I'm, have to I'm show younger. respect for him? Of course. Yeah. yeah? Oh, yeah, so, okay, so I can pour for him, <laughs> right? And he can pour for me? Yeah, so uh, like it's gaining, uh, gaining a relationship and bond, so. You guys get close while drinking together. Dude, and then these guys, wait, then I could pour for you. But I don't have to cover the. He only had to cover it because he's pouring mine. Right? Okay. All right. And you guys still have to look away again. Can he make a toast? Even though I'm here, like, is he allowed to make a toast? Yeah, okay, I'll, what do I, how would I let him make a toast? <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be above, below mine. Okay. And then, and he can make a toast to you guys? Yeah, I mean, 
it really it depends on the circumstance. So like if 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 the like um if it's really fun, like we we can drink it whatever whatever we want. Not whatever we want. Like I mean, you're older than me, so I have to like <laughs> be careful. And yeah, um, you got you all have to watch. Yeah. But if I but if I'm in control, like. But it, what if I stop drinking? Do you all have to stop drinking? I believe so, yeah. So I set the tone for everything. Mm -hmm. All right. So then we can, we'll do another, we'll do a toast. You guys, can you turn away again? You always turn away? That's awesome. Man, that, that's how you feel like you're king. You know what I mean? Wait till, you, wait till you're really the old. Wait, so, wait, so if he was the oldest here, then you would turn away from him. Dude, I want you to feel that. <laughs> just to have Koreans not looking at you. Just. 자꾸만 올라가는 이 꼬리 잔뜩 기대가 되나 봅니다. All right, man. You, you got a toast. You're up above. Don't forget that. Oh, All that right. feel good. All right, there we go. <laughs> Dude, how's that feel, man? It's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> Dude, yeah, that's cool, man. It's so, I think the thing that struck me, Juno, when you and I were, um, were sitting at that, at that cafe, we were just, every time we drank, it was a whole beer. Like, every time he drank from his beer, he, like, turned away from me. And, and I, f I started feeling kind of self-conscious of this, you know, because, like, I don't do that. And, but, but then at some time, I started to, bro, I started to feel that. Like, yeah, yeah, I, got, I can, I can kind of dig this, you know what I mean? All right, man. Hey, bro, really fast. Um, come back up here really quickly. So what'd you get out of today, man? What'd you, what'd you get? Uh, my kids need to stay in school a little longer because they on us. They on America's neck with the academics. So that's what I got from this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. If you, if you like take the Korean thing on, you gotta, you gotta like. Yeah, they might, they might have to go to some hogwans or something after yeah, school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and before school. And before school. Well, and on the weekends, right? Eight and to ten don't sound too bad. That's a break. <laughs> dude, that's, yeah, you don't need babysitters, man. At all. I got the teachers. Hogwans. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Hey, thanks, y'all. Hey. 오늘 강의는 한국의 중요 포인트를 한 번에 훑어보는 시간 같았습니다. 한국이 어렵던 시절 모두가 힘을 모아 노동으로서 경제 성장에 이바지했으며 자신의 아이에게는 힘든 삶을 물려주지 않기 위해 한국은 공부에 전념하기 시작했습니다. 그렇게 기적을 만든 한국인들은 또한번 기적을 만드는데요. 이번엔 세계 무대로 나설 발판이었습니다. 한류가 세계 시장에서 성공하며 또한번 성장의 기회를 얻은 것이죠. 오늘 강의는 전혀 한국을 모른다면 오히려 중구난방으로 보였을지도 모릅니다. 하지만 약 800명에 가까운 학생들 대부분이 한국에 관심을 갖고 있었고 유난히 질문도 많았던 강의였습니다. 한국의 발전 흐름을 그대로 따라가다 보니 장점도 단점도 확연히 눈에 띄었습니다. 특히 마지막 술자리 예절을 배우는 시간에는 모두가 즐거웠지만 우리 한국인들에게는 좀 답답한 부분이기도 하죠. 오늘 강의를 보고 난리 이마저도 우리 한국의 문화라는 걸 새삼 깨닫게 됐습니다. 일도 공부도 열심히 하는 우리 한국인들은 수면 부족에 시달리기도 하죠. 하지만 이것 또한 한국인은 항상 최상위 성적을 가져간다라는 이미지를 가질 수 있게 만들기도 했습니다. 오늘 강의에서는 한국의 성장 흐름을 그대로 볼수 있었습니다. 한국인 욕은 한국인이 가장 많이 한다고 하죠. 그만큼 자신에게 가장 엄격한 민족이라 볼수 있는데요. 오늘 강의로 우리 한국과 한국의 문화에 대해 다시 생각해 보는 게 어떨까요? 오늘 강의는 여기까지입니다. 시청해 주셔서 정말 감사합니다. 강의를 해주신 샘리처드 교수님 감사합니다.